All right, so I have both of my legs here and now I'm going to crochet them together. Now, if you look at my legs, this leg and this leg, the bottom part looks a little different. After I, I made this leg first and then I changed my mind about how I was gonna make the legs. So uh, that's why it looks a little different on the bottom. But don't worry, it's perfectly fine. Yours should turn out the same. All right, so we're gonna make a slip knot with our dark gray yarn. Stick our hook through. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of chain the legs together. So what you need to do is from the side of the foot, on the middle of the leg where the side of the foot would be, that's where you need to stick your hook, your hook through. And then we're just gonna yarn over and slip stitch to join this together. And now we're gonna chain five. So we chain one, two, three, four, and five. So these are going to be the chains that we're working into. And then find the middle, the, here would be the, the center of the foot, and then go up to the middle and stick your hook through. And then yarn over and slip stitch. So now these are our legs are joined together. So now we're going to single crochet around. And because we chained five, we have five chains to work with, but you can work both sides of the chain. So we have 10 stitches on each leg and then the five stitches, which we can use the backs of two. So that's going to be 30 stitches. So in this first stitch where you slip stitch, that's where we're going to go back in and do our first single crochet. Okay, and then we go on to the next one, and single crochet, into the next one. So at this point we've done three single crochets. Here's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So after 10 single crochets, you should be at your chains. And this is the tricky part. So we have one, two, three, four, five, so make sure that you're, you're gonna be working into your five chains. So that would include this chain that's kind of attached to the leg still. So work into this first chain. So we have one, so that would be 11. Here is 12, 13, 14 and sorry this is really tricky and 15 so now we move back onto the leg for 16 17 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24, then into the stitch where we slip stitch, we're gonna single crochet one in there as well for 25. 
And then moving back onto our chains, the other side of our chains, we crochet into one side. Now we're going to work the other side for 26. Twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, and thirty. So let's just count our stitches to make sure. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Okay, so we have thirty stitches. Okay, so we've just chained everything together and now we're going to single crochet continuously around for five rounds. So 30 times five is 150 stitches. You could put a stitch marker in if you like and just uh, measure from there. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. Just kind of crochet continuously around until I have five rounds up. Um, but I will meet you back here when that is done. Okay, so I've just done my five rounds of 30 and this is what it looks like. Now we're going to incorporate the skirt. And this is going to be really tricky. Like I said at the beginning of this, this is definitely not a beginner tutorial um, because it is so difficult. All right, so we're going to bring in the skirt now. And the way you have to put on the skirt is you can't put it on over the top. You have to put it on through the legs or else your yarn is going to get caught. So put it up through the legs. And right now it looks like the skirt is a little too big for the legs, but they actually are the same size. So it should work. So what we do is we stick our, our hook through any of the chains on the skirt and then put our hook back through the loop on our, on our working yarn on the legs. And we are going to pull our working yarn through onto the skirt so that we're gonna crochet them both together. Okay. And now I'm, I'm going to chain one just, just to secure it in place. Then I'm going to go back through. So I go back through the chain on the skirt and back through the stitch on the legs. Pull my yarn through both and single crochet one. Now I'm going to do that with the next chain on the skirt. So you're going to have to look at the skirt and then look at your legs and then go through both and single crochet for two. Then on the next one, through the next chain on the legs, and then through the next stitch, or sorry, through the next chain on the skirt and through the next stitch on the legs. Go through. So that's three. And then find the next chain on the legs and the next stitch, or sorry, next chain on the skirt and then stitch on the legs and go through single crochet for four. So essentially what we're doing is we're crocheting these together. And this is tricky and it's hard to explain too. So go through the next chain on the leg, or on the skirt and the next stitch on the legs and single crochet for five. And then through the next chain on the skirt and the next stitch on the legs and then we have six and then just keep doing this until you've worked into all 30 stitches on the legs and all 30 chains on the skirt. Okay, so I've just attached my skirt and I should still have 30 stitches all the way around. So now that I have the skirt attached, I'm going to single crochet one in every stitch for two rounds. So that would be 60 stitches total, just so that we can make sure everything is on really well. So 
single crochet one around in every stitch for two rounds. So that's one, two, Okay, so now I'm about five stitches away from the end of my second round. Uh, and what I'm going to do right now is take my light gray yarn and incorporate it because at the end of this second round, we're going to change colors. So do like you always do and just put your tail between your working yarn and your hook and crochet the remaining five. So right now I'm at 55. 56, 57, 58, 59, and then for 60, I yarn over with my light gray yarn and pull through to change color. And I've just changed colors. So now we're going to do one more round, just sing continually crocheting around for 30 stitches in light gray. One, two. Okay, so I've come to the end of my round and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this um, dark gray tail and I'm gonna take a long tail so that I can use it to stuff the body just a little bit. Um, with this one, you kind of want to stuff everything as you go because if you wait till the end, it's gonna be really difficult to uh, to get it all full. Okay, so now we are going to take our shirt that we made. This is the bottom of her shirt. So we're going to take this and we're going to do just like we did with the skirt and attach it by crocheting it on to the body. So what we need to do for this one is kind of, you don't have to pin it in place or anything, but just kind of wrap it around because you want it so that this part ends up in the middle, like this. So if you are not in the middle, like where I am, that's fine. Just single crochet until you get to this part. So if you finished and you're like around back right here, just single crochet all the way until you get to the front. It's fine. It's not gonna look uneven or anything. I mean, technically you'll have half a row more than what I have, but that's perfectly fine. So just single crochet until you get to this front right here. And actually, in order for mine to be perfectly center, I need to single crochet one more. And now mine is in the center. So once you get to the center, figure out which side of this you like more. The side you like more should be facing the outside. I think I like this side more. Or no, I like this side. And then into your chain, you should have 30 chains, um, but it might be kind of hard to find them a little bit, but that's fine. And then just do like we did with the skirt and pull your working yarn through and then chain one just to secure it in place. And then go back through into that same place. And in this stitch and then single crochet and do just like we did with the skirt where in each chain and through each stitch you single crochet the two of them together. So that's two, and then over into the next chain and the next stitch for three. Four.
Okay, so I got that all on there. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to single crochet one in each stitch continuously around for the entire round. So that would be 30 stitches. So just single crochet one in every stitch for 30 stitches. And if you have any tails, you can take this time to work them in. One and 30. Okay, so now we're going to do a decrease round and we're gonna decrease from 30 stitches down to 27 stitches. So we're gonna decrease on every multiple of 10 and the stitch before that. So we need to single crochet one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine and 10 are decreased together. Eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and then 19 and 20 are decreased together. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, and then 29 and 30 are decreased together. Okay, so we just finished the decrease round and we now have 27 stitches. So now we're just going to single crochet one in every stitch for the entire round or 27 stitches. So just single crochet one in every stitch for the entire round. One, two, three, 25, 26, and 27. Okay, so we just finished our 27 stitches. Now we're gonna do another decrease round and we're gonna decrease from 27 stitches down to 24 stitches. So we're gonna decrease on every multiple of nine and the stitch before that. So we single crochet one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight and nine are decreased together. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and then 17 and 18 are decreased together. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and 27 are decreased together. All right, so now we should have 24 stitches. And in this next round, we're gonna do what we did before and we're going to single crochet one continuously around for the entire round. So single crochet 24, one, two, three, 
23, and 24. Okay, so now we have 24 stitches and we're going to do another decrease round and we're going to decrease on every multiple of 8. So we're going to decrease from 24 stitches down to 27 stitches. So we single crochet 1, 2, oopsies, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 7 and 8 are decreased together. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and then 15 and 16 are decreased together. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and then 23 and 24 are decreased together. So we've just gone from having 24 stitches to 21 stitches. And now we're going to do what we did before and we're just going to single crochet one in every stitch around for 21 stitches. One, two, three. So now we're going to do another decrease round and we're going to decrease from 21 down to 18. So we need to decrease on every multiple of seven. So we single crochet one, two, three, four, five, and then six and seven are decreased together. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen are decreased together. Fifteen, 16, 17, 18, 19, and then 20 and 21 are decreased together. So now we should have 18 stitches. And now we're going to single crochet continuously around for 18 stitches, just like we did before. One, two, three, seventeen, and eighteen. Okay, so now we need to do another decrease around and we need to go from 18 down to 15, so we're going to decrease on every multiple of six. So we single crochet one, two, three, four, and then five and six are decreased together. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and then eleven and 12 are decreased together. 13, 14, 15, 16, and then 17 and 18, oopsies, 17 and 18 are decreased together. All right. So now we're going to do like we did before and we are just going to single crochet continuously around for 15 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, fifteen. All right, so now we're gonna do our last decrease round and we're gonna decrease from 15 stitches down to 12 stitches. So we need to decrease on every multiple of five. One, two, three, and then four and five are decreased together. Six, seven, eight, and then nine, and 10, oopsies, nine, and 10 are decreased together. 11, 12, 13, and then 14 and 15 are decreased together. So now we have 12. And now we're gonna do our last two rounds. We're just gonna single crochet one around in every stitch for two rounds for a total of 24 stitches. Now this time we're doing two rounds, not one, for a total of 24 stitches. One, two, 23 and 24. Okay, so we are all done with this part of the body. So now we're gonna slip stitch to finish off. And now is also a good time to stuff the body. So, Go in with your toy stuffing or your yarn scraps or whatever you're using and stuff the body. Okay, so now everything's all stuffed and we are ready to move on to the next part. Okay, so now we're gonna make the collar, and to make the collar we need to start with our light gray yarn. So, we need to make a slip knot. And now we are going to chain 15, or sorry, 16. We're gonna chain 16. So we chain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, so now this chain 15 and chain 16 are actually going to count as the double crochet for the row that we're about to do. So what we need to do is yarn over and in the third chain from our hook, we are going to half double crochet. Because this is, is gonna work similarly to, um, to the bottom part of the shirt where we're gonna have a double crochet, half double crochet, then some single crochets, and then a half double crochet and a double crochet. But for this one, what we're gonna do is these chains are gonna represent the first double crochet, and then we just half double crochet. Okay, so next, we are going to single crochet 10 all the way across. So we single crochet one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, so in this next stitch, we're going to half double crochet. And then in this last one, we are going to double crochet. Okay. 
Okay. And now we're going to do like we did with the bottom of the shirt and we're just going to finish off by chaining one because we're going to change to blue but since this is kind of a special way that we're doing this we're not going to change in the typical way. So just like we did with the skirt what we're going to do or with the bottom of the shirt what we're going to do is we're going to single crochet two in these double crochets on the sides and then one all the way across so that it borders the entire thing. So with our blue yarn, we need to make a slip knot. And now we take our collar and you'll notice that you have like this curved edge on the inside and then the longer curved edge on the outside. We want to make sure that we're going to crochet along this longer side. So what we need to do is on the corner that is closest to the small inside, we are actually going to just slip stitch to get it in there. And now we're going to single crochet one in the top loop of that double crochet. And then we're going to crochet another one in the bottom loop of that double crochet. And we're actually going to crochet a second one, so we're going to increase in the bottom loop of that double crochet so that it turns. Now we're going to single crochet 12 across until we get to our last double crochet at the end. So we're going to single crochet one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, oopsies. and 12. Okay, so now we're at these two chains that represent our first double crochet. And in this first chain from our hook, we are going to crochet, we are going to single crochet two. So essentially we're going to increase so that we can turn the corner. So there's one and two. And then in this top chain, we are just going to single crochet one and then we're gonna chain one to finish it off. And we're all done with the collar. So you can cut off uh, any tails if you weave the tails into your collar like I did. And yep, now it just looks like this. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to single, or we are going to crochet her tie. And actually I'm gonna flip this over to the red side so that uh, you can see a little better because the blue on blue is a little difficult to see. All right, so first we need our blue yarn. And we need to make a slip knot. And now we're going to chain 16. So we yarn over, chain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. All right, so we just chained 16. And now we're gonna single crochet 12 along this first side. 
So we go into this ch next chain from our hook, single crochet one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Now in this next chain, we're going to half double crochet. So we half double crochet. And then in this next chain, we're going to double crochet. So we double crochet. And then in this next chain, we're going to half double crochet. Okay, and now we're going to turn it. So again, in the same chain that we just half double crocheted in, we're going to go back through on the other side and do another half double crochet. So we go in and half double crochet. And then in the next chain, we double crochet. And then in the next chain, we half double crochet. And now we're going to single crochet in the next 12 chains. So we single crochet one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And then we just chain one to finish it off. And that's the tie. And just make sure that you're really paying attention to the chains that you're chaining into because I actually wasn't this time. And uh, you can see that it's curved off to the side a little bit. If you're making sure that each chain, like on one side's getting one stitch, on one side's getting one stitch, then it shouldn't curve. It should be perfectly straight like this. Mine, I wasn't paying so much attention.